Hi, welcome to my edit bay. Today we're going to work in Final Cut Pro with some dialogue audio, and I'm going to show you how you can enhance your dialogue audio with five free effects that are built right into Final Cut Pro. You don't need to buy any plugins or purchase any extra anything to be able to do some really cool things with your audio to make it sound better. This video is sponsored by Track Club. I'm looking at a multicam clip of a recent video that I recorded. This is a roll for my Peter McKinnon Nomadic Everyday Camera backpack review. And before I start cutting up this multicam to build the edit for this video, I want to enhance the dialogue audio first. And the first effect that I'm going to use is what's called a limiter. So let's go over to the effects browser over here, and then I'm going to search for limiter. And then I'm going to double click it to apply it. You can see it's automatically here in the inspector. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it down to negative six decibels. And you'll see the waveform shrink a little bit. And that's going to make sure that none of my audio goes above negative six decibels on my audio meter. For my audio, I really like to keep it between negative 12 and negative six, with my audio really touching at negative six during my videos. So that one's pretty easy, pretty simple to put on a limiter. The next one's a little bit more complex, but not too bad. It's called a compressor. So we're going to search for compressor and we're going to double click this and it's going to add it on. Now, a compressor, what it's going to do is it's going to literally compress your audio. It's going to take the louder parts and bring them down and the quiet parts and bring them up. So we want to make some adjustments to this. We can't just go with the default settings. So I'm going to click on this and open up this really cool kind of vintage audio interface. And I'm going to adjust this threshold to negative 10. And then I'm going to change this ratio to 3.1 to 1. Let's actually take a listen to see what the before and after sounds like. So here is without. So I ended up ordering the everyday 25 liter bag with the lab, and here is with the compressor added on. So I ended up ordering the everyday 25 liter bag with the ladder. You can see it brings the levels up. It's a little bit brighter, more forward. I think it sounds a lot better than just without the compressor. So that's why we stick with it. Now, what does a compressor do to those lower sounds? It's raising them up, right? So when I'm done with a sentence, I take a deep breath, right? So blah, 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 blah. The compressor is going to make that more audible. So to counteract that and save myself from having to manually reduce all the breath sounds, I'm going to use an effect called a noise gate. And let's double click that to add it on. And we have our noise gate here. So I'm going to turn it off first. And I'm going to listen for my breaths here in my video. And I'm going to watch my audio meters as I take a breath. Own. So, I so you can hear that 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 breath is really below about negative 40 decibels, maybe just above negative 40 decibels. So with this noise gate, let's go ahead and re-enable it. I'm going to pull up the user interface for it. A little bit different than the compressor, but this threshold, what it's saying is anything that's below negative 20 decibels, it's going to immediately reduce the volume by uh, entirely. It's going to take it to zero, negative 100 decibels. Well, negative 20, I've got some vocals that are in that negative 20 range. I want to push it down for anything that's below, let's say, negative 35 decibels. So I'm just going to type it in here, uh, negative 35, and then hit return. And you can immediately see the waveform changes quite a bit. So I ended up ordering the everyday 25 liter bag with the let's go back to this breath and listen to what it sounds like alignment with my own. So let's hear what it is without it alignment with my own. So I so again, it's removing those breaths automatically using the noise gate, a great effect built right into Final Cut Pro to take all those really quiet sounds and drop them down to zero. And it's not really negatively impacting my dialogue audio because every time I speak, it's well above negative 35 decibels. So it's not even touching the audio at that level. All right, so we've got three of our five effects applied. Let's take a look at our next one. And our next one is what's called channel EQ. And this is the most complicated one to do. Let's pull it up. We've got it here. So I'm going to double click and add it on and then pull up. Uh, the uh, interface. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click on this and I'm going to drag this out somewhere around here. Okay. If I hit analyze and then play the audio. So I ended up ordering the everyday 25 liter bag with the ladder and two small cubes for 380. 
you can see that there's not a lot going on frequency wise before this this sort of 75 uh, hertz area okay bag with the ladder and two small cubes for 300 so i just want to remove the noise floor from this dialog by by clicking on this and pulling this over to somewhere between 50 for some of you it might be 100 if you don't have as deep of a voice as me but somewhere in this like sort of like 65 to 75 range and i'm going to leave it right there so that's the first thing that i'm going to do with channel eq to improve the audio quality the next thing that i'm going to do is what's called frequency sweeping or vocal sweeping, at least that's what I think it's called. And what we wanna do is we wanna take these, these uh, different frequencies like 2500 and raise them all the way up. And then we're gonna skinny the bandwidth, okay? And then we're gonna play this audio back. Ladder and two small cubes for $389.99. I'm gonna sweep cents, this back and forth. I wasn't done there. If I was gonna do this, I was gonna do it right and get some, you can hear that kind of funny sound there at that frequency. It's sort of the most prominent as I sweep back and forth. So I'm just going to drag this all the way down, play it back. I ended up ordering the Everyday 20. And you're not going to notice a huge difference, but once we make all of these adjustments, you'll see a little bit of a difference. Enough to make doing this worthwhile. I ended up ordering the Everyday 25 liter bag with the ladder and two small cubes for $389.99, but I wasn't done there. If I was going to do this, I was going to do it right and get some of the accessories that Peter and Nomadic made. So that one's pretty loud. So I'm going to drop this one down right there. So I ended up ordering the Everyday 25 liter. All right, still sounds good. So I'm going to do the next one. And then again, just skinny it up and then sweep the channel. I ended up ordering the Everyday 25 liter bag with the ladder and two small cubes for $389.99. But I... And remember, I'm trying to keep these in their own sort of little groups here. So I'm not taking this and sweeping way past this one. This one's taking care of this range. This one's taking care of this middle range. This one's going to take care of this portion of the audio frequencies. But we'll play that back again. So I ended up ordering the Everyday 25 liter bag with the ladder and two small cubes for $389.99. But I wasn't done there. If I was going to do... So I'm going to drop it here because I still have one more to go. And I think this one's going to take care of some of the stuff I'm hearing over here. So let's go ahead and play it back. So I ended up ordering the Everyday 25 liter bag with the ladder and two small cubes for $389.99. I hear this right here. So I'm going to drop that down. Ended up ordering the Everyday 25 liter bag. Now with let's the hear ladder what it sounds like with it removed. So I ended up ordering the Everyday 25 liter bag with the ladder and two small cubes for $389.99, but I... So I'm going to do one little thing here just to give it just a little bit more trouble. I wasn't done there. If I was going to do this, I was going to do it right and get some of the accessories. Ended up ordering the Everyday 25 liter bag with the ladder and two small cubes for $389.99. Yeah, I like that. It gives it a little bit more trouble, a little bit more brightness and vibrancy, but... I ended up ordering the everyday just a really nice clean sound. That's what channel EQ is in sweeping. So we take this in, try to remove a little bit of the noise floor at the lower frequencies. Then we sweep across all these different spectrums, try to pull out some of the stuff that's sounding a little funky. And then just a little bump up of the treble, this kind of higher tones in my voice to give it a little bit more brightness. And I think that sounds really great. And the next effect, if I apply it to this, we're in a controlled environment here. We're in my studio. There's a little bit of background noise from the fans on my raids. I've got a refrigerator here. Sometimes there's some rumbles from outside, that sort of thing. But this effect, voice isolation, which is one of the newer features from Final Cut Pro, especially one that taps into the neural engine cores in our M-powered Apple Silicon Max. This feature is really powerful and you're not going to see the impact necessarily on this in-studio stuff, but you're going to see it in a vlog that I filmed in Las Vegas and I'll show you that in a minute. But let's go ahead and do voice isolation in this setting. So I ended up ordering the Everyday 25 liter bag with the ladder and two small cubes for $389. And so not a huge difference in this setting, but let's pull up one of my other vlogs and I'm going to show you what this thing can do when there's a really noisy environment. So here I'm outside the Las Vegas Convention Center with Josh Satin, a good friend of the channel and a buddy of mine that I went to NAB with. And we're vlogging. There's other people in the background. There's distant music. There's cars. There's city traffic. All that stuff going on. So let's listen to this 
uh, without any effects being added. Let's go ahead and disable. Um, we'll leave these enabled. In the parking lot to the convention center, we still have to register. There's going to be a huge line. Uh, we're not getting into this place for another. So you can just hear all that that background that background sound. Now let's toggle on voice isolation and listen to it now. All right, we're doing the death march from the parking lot to the convention center. We still have to register. There's going to be a huge line. Uh, we're not getting into this place for another 30 to 45 minutes, I bet. We do so I'm going to disable this music track just so we can have nothing else interfering Sorry, we with We still have the to sound. register. There's going to be a huge line. Uh, we're not getting into this place for another 30 to 45 minutes, I bet. We do a lot of vlogging while we're waiting in line. Yeah, we can do a lot of vlogging, some shit talking. But by the way, uh, Mothership was pretty good. Not my... So this is where voice isolation really shines. And you have this amount slider. I don't really adjust this too much because 50% always seems to work well for me. But you can adjust this, especially if there's really intense background noise. If there was honking cars, loud music, other stuff, you might be able to slide this over to the right and isolate more of your vocals. But it works so well with these vlogs. It's going to be a huge line. And what I really love about this effect is when you're using it with noisy vlog type footage with music in the background, music that you've added in your editor, just kind of give that vibe that you want to your vlog. So to the convention center, we still have to register. There's going to be a huge line. Uh, we're not getting into this place for another 30 to 40. When we have voice isolation toggled off, we're not really hearing this music track very well. When we have it toggled on, of course, you can still hear some of the music and it continues to kind of bring the the vibe and the energy that you want in your vlog, that I want in my vlogs. And I'm using a score by Track Club, and Track Club is actually the sponsor of this video. They're an incredible company that I'm really proud to partner with. Now, most of the time with these sponsor segments, people are gonna talk about the features and benefits, the fact that they have great music, they have this amazing mix lab feature. What I really wanna focus on when I'm talking about Track Club is I wanna talk about how they're a mission and purpose driven company. You really should read through the copy on their website if you wanna understand what Track Club is all about. We care deeply about a lot of things, but these two things keep us focused, purpose and values and highest quality music. If these qualities matter to you and a music partner, you're in the right place. But if perhaps you care more about finding the cheapest deal or the biggest catalog, there's better options for you out there. They're not trying to get every single last customer. They're trying to get the right customers. And I love that about Track Club. I don't know that there are other companies that I really see writing copy like this on their website. This sort of authentic truth telling is what I look for in a brand, what I'm going to partner with. And they back it up with quality music. So when you have have quality music like this, you want to be able to use these tools in Final Cut Pro like voice isolation to make sure that they play a part, they act as a character in your videos. And this vlog I don't think would be what it is without this music from Track Club. So definitely check out Track Club. I've got a link down in the description below. And if you want to sign up for a one month free trial, you know what? We could do even better than a one month free trial. Let's do a four month free trial link down in the description. I highly recommend checking out Track Club. Thanks again, Track Club, for sponsoring this video. All right, so we've got all five effects covered. We've got the limiter, the compressor, the noise gate, the channel EQ, and of course, voice isolation. But there's one more thing to show you. You've done all of this hard work to create these effects and customize them with all these settings. You don't want to have to add each of these effects to your dialogue audio every time you make a video and go in and customize the compressor settings and the EQ settings. You want it to be something you can pull up automatically the next time that you make a video. And that is where this save effects preset feature in Final Cut Pro comes in. So you can see down the inspector, if we click this button, it's gonna pull up a little window here. We're gonna call this effects preset, which is gonna combine all the effects we've added into one single effect. I'm gonna call it um, Dialogue Audio Polish. And we're gonna put it under this voice category. If you don't have a voice category, you can select new category and add it yourself. And then we're going to hit save and I'm going to hit replace because I have an older one in there and we're just going to update that one with this one. We're going to search for polish. That's the word I remember. And we have dialogue audio polish. Now, if I double click this, it's automatically going to add all those effects to the clip. So you don't have to go in, customize each one, find each one in the browser, blah, 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 waste a bunch of time. That save effects preset works not only for audio, but it works for video as well. So if you have some video effects that you've customized or you've added a drop shadow in a Gaussian blur and all these different things, you can save that combination of effects as a preset so that you can dial up all those effects that you've customized quickly the next time you make a video. So that's it. 
That's what we've got. Five free effects in Final Cut Pro to improve your dialogue audio, whether you're vlogging or recording audio in studio. That's all I've got for this one, everyone. Until the next video, I'll see you all soon. And don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli.